After saving the Vincent family and bringing them to the forest, Winnetou goes to see his old friend, Sam Hawkins. He tells him of the death of Old Bear, not knowing that Old Bear was only wounded and is now being taken to the fort to stand trial. After hearing Winnetou say that his alcohol is destroying the Red Man, Sam burns his distillery. They discover that bandits have stolen their horses. Helped by Sam, Winnetou and Tashunko defeat the outlaws and take the two Cheyenne girls that the outlaws had been holding prisoner back to their village. Women, leave. Tashunko. Tashunko. Take the horses down to the river. Tashunko, she's my sister. Pretty, isn't she? Yes. Hey, you're Comanche. Hey, you're Comanche. Comanche, you're pretty, but crooked legs. <laughs> as gold red as our mother, the earth. Red are the men of this nation. Red is the road that brings our visitors to us. I, Wolf's Tooth, Mediweaven of this tribe, the ancient guardians of tradition, the brave dog soldiers, the brave warriors of the bowstring. We would like to know the truth. The women said that you forbore to kill the Washiku. I, Winnetou, let the Great Spirit decide their destinies. The white men are dead because the Great Spirit convicted them. And I am sure that at the same time, the father of everything does not wish to condemn Pehakawin and Wiletoni. Wiletoni has kept her place in the heart of her father. By the sacred bowstring, I, Hehakapam, say to you, the threshold of my teepee was soiled by a pig passing by. The pig has been killed. The coming of the next rain will wash away the stain. Your heart speaks with courage and kindness, but vengeance belongs only to men and not to the gods. If you even come near Peace. a shadow! Peace! You young fools, you will respect the laws of the Council. Now, Brother Apache, you must know that each family in this village mourns the loss of one of its own to the white men. The whites came on us six moons ago, us and our friends, the Arapahoes. We rescued the only Arapaho the Great Spirit allowed us. He was camping with us. My friend, Old Bear. Do not say aloud the name of one who has left for the star path. He told me of his son, Winnetou. Are you he? Yes, Grandfather. This is his war jacket. Did the pale skins kill him, Winnetou? Yes, Tunkashila. My more than father was a man of peace. He lived on a blue cloud, like all the Arapahoes. Now the Cheyennes have had to live upon a red cloud, Winner, too. The white man's death is here now. Begin the combat, Winner, too. We will follow you. Aye, aye. aye. The Cheyennes are ready now. We are the warriors of the bowstring. And the dog soldiers are among our tribe, Winner, too. A man who is a dog soldier is proud to give his life in battle. I, 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 to the Cheyennes will run the Comanches, the Kiowas, the Lakotas, the Yantonai, and the Absarok. 
And your brothers as well, Winnetou, the Mescalero Apaches. The Red World will finally unite and finally arise and, like a tempest, will destroy the Washikus. I do not want my actions controlled by hatred. And I still hope that the laws of the Whites are not written on sand. They are. They are written on Sand Creek. How can you believe still the law of the Whites, my son? Because I must believe it. And if I am wrong, there is only one possible way. War. And if there is war, I am afraid the Great Spirit will abandon his sons. No. No. Calm, brothers. Peace. No, it's impossible, brothers. He will not allow the snakes to destroy the world he created. They are out there now at this very moment, taking up our trees, stealing our herds. Those beasts with the picks and shovels are ready to send the iron horse through our hunting grounds. They've been circling around our village like vultures that have spotted a corpse. Kill all of them now. My big sister, Wilatoni, tells me that your name is Tashunko and that you are braver than the bravest warrior of the bowstring. It has a nice sound. Tashunko Safa. My name is Winona. Ah. The youngest daughter of Wolf's Tooth. You've been in there a long time now. Can you really be that dirty? No, I touched the washiko. I don't want to be sick. So I have to wash. A long time. That doesn't matter. I'll wait. We'll go back to the village together. Yes, Topsana. My name is Winona, not Topsana. Topsana is Comanche. Prairie flower. It suits you. I may decide to keep it. Has a pretty sound, doesn't it? Over here. Come on. Why don't you come out of the water? I, uh... Hurry up. We'll take his clothes. Over here. <laughs> Loudly in the council. This mountain is sacred. It dominates our territory and protects it. The white skins may attack men, dog soldier, but they cannot attack the gods. We should have come here before, under the shadow of our great ancestors. We should have begged them to allow their wisdom and spirit to penetrate into our souls, to guide us. We spoke too quickly before, my brothers. We have to decide quickly, Wolfstooth. Immediately. The men of the Iron Horse are already in the valley. <laughs> Wolfstooth, look! The vultures have come back! Get a line on that rise behind you! Right! Further back! Levez la tête, s'il vous plaît. Colonel Stevens, the head, please. C'est bien. Shake hands. 
Can't anyone stop that flag from waving? Attention, s'il vous plaît. Move no muscle. Un, deux, trois. Ça y est. Merci beaucoup. This photograph will be a document historical, messieurs. And I will call her the Heroes of the West. You could have waited for us to take the pictures. No, too sweet, right away. Behold, I prepare my plate. Sullivan, kindly get rid of this carcass or some bearable. But it'll look great in the picture, sir. You don't know how lucky you were. Give me a knife. There aren't many buffalo left in these parts. Make some cookies, Fang. Okay, drag it away and cut it up. Well, what does it look like? Just like we thought, Colonel. There are only two choices. We can pass through the Indian villages, then go straight on through that narrow pass that goes through the mountains. Will it be wide enough? Well, we'd have to do a little blasting, though. Well, we've got plenty of powder. What about the second way? It would take us uh, around the base of the mountain. Is it much of a detour? About 30 miles. No, it's too long. Stevens? It's your decision, Mr. Fowler. You're the company. I just carry out the orders. Try to put yourself in my place. I am not in your place. Just try it, please. I have no wish to. Now we'll have to buy from the Indians the right to pass through their land. Is this possible? No problem. Are you sure? I guarantee it. I would not be so sure of that, Colonel. Those Cheyennes will never give you that canyon. It's a sacred place, and all of their ancestors live there. Charbonneau. Why don't you just do your pictures and uh, let me do the railroad? Hoo-hoo! Up till now, all the Indians have been willing to sell their territories to the company, even the Cheyennes. Not three months ago, for promises. Which we shall keep, I hope. Yes, within limits of possibilities. Mm. Weapons and alcohol. Your Cheyennes will be only too happy to get rid of their pieces of rock, Charbonneau. If you say so, I'm sure you're right, Colonel. Gentlemen, if you please, get your smiles ready. Pamela, move no muscle. Teeth. My little white swan, who all alone prepared this feast to honor our guest this afternoon. Six months ago, Winona was still a little girl. Today, she could make a warrior happy. I came here with four Mustangs, Wolfstooth. Two belong to the white men who did so much harm to your village. That is why you should keep them. I give you the first one to thank you for your hospitality. The second one is a present from Tashunko to the father of Winona. It was Wheela Tony who taught me about the art of cooking. And my mother taught me to make moccasins out of the hides of old teepees. I know how to cook the tail of a buffalo <coughs> and to make long arrow feathers. I don't know how to make arrows themselves, because only men do that. But I embroidered this hem all alone. It's very pretty. Do you think so, really? Mm. How about my cooking? I've eaten well. Oh. <coughs> so have I. I'm so glad. I spent many hours trying to find the fattest dog possible. <laughs> Shunko Sapa is a Comanche little sister. He cannot eat a dog without upsetting the gods and the spirits of his people. He hates me with all his heart. Of course not. 
You didn't know. I might prepare a pike on the coals or a trout or a salmon with thyme and sage, too. The herbs. The fish. Wolf's tooth! There are buffalo! Buffalo! How many? Twice the fingers on the hand. You yes. saw them? A small herd that the white man left behind. Where? Behind the green hills of the south. No, no, no! You are all pigs! You have forgotten the ceremonies of our ancestors! You forgot them the last time, too, and you took no buffalo! Wakantanta will not help you if you do not perform the rites! Wakantanka! Gods are going to curse me. I ate an animal that might have contained the spirit of one of my ancestors. Calm down, little brother. You didn't do it on purpose, you know that. Little Wolf told me that one day a Cheyenne warrior died because he ate some bear. It was forbidden to them. No, the spirit of your ancestors may live on in the animals of one of your villages, but not in those of a Cheyenne village. Are we leaving tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Come here, come here. you asked me to get. Give it to me. Give me your tomahawk. I mustn't. Then I keep a fruit. Give it to me. No, not here. Look. The warriors were asking Wakatana for protection. On the battle hut. Someone is playing the flute for you, little sister. Who cares? Comanches have green teeth and crooked fingers. Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, run. He's waiting for you. Shunko, you're playing the flute now? For Winona? Yes, for Topsona. Ah, I thought it was for Winona. It is. Topsona will be your name soon. Uh, and did the little flower of the prairie walk right by you without stopping, or did she stop? She walked by, she touched me with her basket, and she put it down, and then she went away laughing. <laughs> In that case, you'd better run. Hurry! Ha, 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 ha. 
Ah, it's good to be young. Yes, Winnetou. This covering will protect our love against evil spirits. Yes. Do you love me, Topsana? Mm -hmm. We know now. Put your arm around my waist. I won't look. The village. What's happening? Come. Not quite the same kind of folks you got back in Boston, huh? Not really. <laughs> For a redskin, she's not too bad, is she? If you'd like one for a while, Mr. Fowler, just point your finger. It's pretty good stuff. Ever try it? You are disgusting, my dirty friend. Are you sure Vincenti translated exactly what I said? Every word. Ah. In that case, why are all those men going into the chief's tent? No problem. Do you understand the Cheyenne Sign Language, Sullivan? What language? <laughs> They're like monkeys. Making faces, that's all. But I have something that works a lot better than words. Sandy, bring that stuff out here. Si, senor. No, wait. Here comes the chief. Hey, Fatty. Are you the one that gives the orders around this flea hole? Wolf's Tooth can speak in the name of this village. But I think, white man, that you should speak respectfully if you want to leave here unharmed. <laughs> ah, that's the way I like to hear a man talk. I'm Sullivan. Friends call me Big Mouth. Hmm. Now, this gentleman is Bart Fowler from Boston. He's here to oversee the work for the company. What work? No problem? No problem, I tell you. Now look, it has to do with the Iron Horse. Our engineers have surveyed the region, and the railway has to come down through the canyon. Whoa. 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 Very sorry, but you're just going to have to clear out. The land belongs to the Cheyennes. Nobody can steal it. This man is an ass. Of course, your land belongs to you. And uh, such being the case, you can sell it to the company. And every year thereafter, you'll receive money. Money? Yes, a great deal of money. Enough so that your chief and his people can buy anything you wish at the company stores that we'll build along the way. All you have to do is Sign this contract. White men do not always honor their contracts. In any case, it is the council only that can make this decision. Fine. Read it. Take your time. There you see. Just a question of tact, my friend. Hmm. Miss Annie, drag that stuff out. Si, senor. Kill them right now. It is not your decision to make alone. Kill them, I say. No. They are not trying to rob us for once. They are offering to trade with us. No. No, no, no. No, no. 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 Where is the truth, Winnetou? Some say that if we accept this treaty, our sons will not know the cold of winter. Nor will they know the days of hunger when the animals disappear. 
Nor will they know fear of the enemy red or white who, who robs and murders, makes slaves of our women, murders our children. Where is the truth, Winnetou? It could be their right. No! No! no. <laughs> Here you go, friend. Drink it down. Hey, you two, Gramps. It's on the house. <laughs> Nothing said yesterday must be forgotten. Your violence, Hehakapan, and yours, dog soldier, could mean the vengeance of the white man. Your caution yesterday, Wolf's Tooth, and your indecision today are insults to the spirits of your ancestors. This land, our land, belongs only to the Great Spirit, who entrusts it to his red sons. Money is a poison made up by the whites in order to steal our land. What will be your price for the remains of your ancestors? Come quickly, the white men are giving everyone fire water. <laughs> Sullivan, pack up those things and let's get out of here. Hurry! You too, Vincenti. You fool, what are you doing with that gun? The company doesn't need this. They've got the law on their side. And this is the law. That's an order. Get out of here. All right, all right. White man, I give you the answer of the council. My mouth will speak for every mouth. The Iron Horse will never pass through that canyon. This is the land of the Cheyennes. Never, at any price. White man, go back home to your people. Every problem has its own solution, Father. Vincente! Si, senor. Did I hear you say that one of the men in the village told you there was going to be a buffalo hunt? Si, senor. And last night they danced some more. Ah, I get it, Colonel. You want us to go where they're hunting and scare off the buffalo. Hmm? Drunken idiot. What a pity. You see, if the men of the village go hunting, once they've gone away, taking this winner two fellow along with them, only the women will be left. <laughs> well, if, uh, if the men didn't like our booze, I'm sure the women will be very touched by the, by the presents we bring them. Just what kind of offer is that, Stevens? Look, I don't know nothing about the Boston Brahmins, my friend, but I do know a great deal about India. In Boston, they forgot to teach you that an Indian woman has almost as much right to make a decision as a man. In fact, they can even impeach a chief. More specifically, it's up to them to decide upon the location of the village. And that's all we ask for. Ah, that's wonderful. Mm. <laughs> well, tomorrow, my dear Fowler, I invite you to my seduction party. My son? Yes, I must. Then you will not hunt buffalo with us tomorrow. I will come back soon, I promise. You will. But the buffalo? Topsona. Very 
Pašunko. Not hungry, Tashunko? No. We're going to see your white friend, Sam Hawkins? Mm hmm? Would you rather see him by yourself without me? No. You can come with us, little brother. Winnetou. Mm hmm? Could you wait for me at Sam Hawkins' place? For one day? Not more than one day. Ah. I see. So the little prairie flower doesn't yet understand that Tashunko loves her. She does, but her father. <laughs> Go quickly. You mean it? Tashunko has come back, little sister. Yes. <laughs> it's the Comanche with the green teeth again. <laughs> no, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tashunko, are you not coming with us on the buffalo hunt? <laughs> Any longer. Will it, Tony? Don't cry, my child. One day we'll come back here and go swimming together. No. The water spirits aren't good in this place. The Minios. I'll be here. I'll protect you. Will you always be here? Won't you go off with your people? No. I like Shane country. The rocks, the mountains, the river. The Comanches have only the plain. No rocks? In that case, where do your spirits live, little black horse? In the air, maybe. 
That's why we Comanches can go anywhere. But you can't leave the rocks of your ancestors. A little horse needs room to run. One day you'll leave here. You'll play the flute for some other girl. Wakantana knows my words are truth. <laughs> Hukai, Tokushila. Yes, Tokushila. I speak your language. Why? Because I fought the Cheyennes three years ago, and the Navajos five years ago, and the Sioux ten years ago. And I know it is the language of a courageous people. Tokushila, are you the chief of this village? No. Well, where are the men? They are hunting Tatanka, the buffalo. I wish them the killing of a white buffalo. Well, I'll have to take all those things back home. Unless your women are willing to accept the gifts I brought in the name of the company. Weta, go, soldier Washiku. There is no one among us who will sell you the land that belongs to his ancestors. No one is talking about that, Tokushila. The iron horse can cross somewhere else. Well then, what are we going to do with all these gifts that we were going to give to your women? Hmm? Vincenny! Si, senor! Take off that cover. Right away, senor. Take it away. But why is one? Surely it is better to let the women themselves decide if they want the gifts. Sullivan. Tobanka, put that down. No, no, no. Come here. Uh, first, you must put your mark on the paper so I know what I gave you. That way, all your sisters will get their gifts. Now's the time to earn your living, my friend. Well, what about a nice smile? Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 you don't now. One at a time. Easy now. Please, stand in line. What about this? You like it? Well, take it. They must not do this. It is sacrilege. Little Wolf must run and warn the men. Good. The white men are demons. Yes, let me. Two or three, help me up. You like? You like? Pretty, huh? <laughs> that Stevens is sly, all right. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Hey, go ahead, go ahead. Take what you like. <laughs> Good, hurry. I will. Next up. 
Well, it's about time to get this over with. Sullivan. Yes, sir. Give me that gold coin in the raffle. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, Robbie. Robbie, look. Over there. Ain't that nice? That's the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, that's nice and Fort material back where I come from. <laughs> Look what the stupid fools are doing. Well, I think that old fellow will do very nicely. There, take it! <laughs> Here! Take this dollar. Why? Take this dollar and take this rifle. Why, white man? Why me? Because you are a man of wisdom. And I wish to pay tribute to a great warrior. A brother is accepting the magic of she Chris. Here you go. Take it, ladies. <laughs> you can put this away, Fowler. I have just given my last present. Yes, I saw that, Colonel. Rather generous of you. Does he have to sign? No use. Golden weapons. That's the way all treaties are achieved. We must stop this. Yes, Black Horse. You were right. We'll fight them until the men get back. Come on! You cannot sell your home this way. You must not do this! We want nothing from you. Your seduction party is turning a little sour. It doesn't matter. Signed. We don't want your gifts, white man. Take them back. Hey, look at that little Hellcat, will you? Huh? She's even better looking when she's mad. <laughs> Let me tell you one way or the other. I'm gonna get me that one. Some other time. Colonel Stevens, the warriors, they're coming back. No time for wrong moves. All right. Give me the bill of sale. Go away. No. This village is mine now. Your women gave it to me, as they had the right to do. That man received a rifle and a gold coin to seal the treaty. bunch of pigs. It's a strategic retreat, but they're going to pay for it, believe me. All right. a new weapon. A weapon that shames us. When we want Thundersticks, we will go out and get them ourselves. Uh, uh. Hawkins City will be the state capital one day. You remember when I told you that once you're back, you'll see a real town? <laughs> Not one saloon. Not even a stinking little bar. It's really a hell of a dry town, come to think of it. But the best thing of all, you haven't seen yet. I've been keeping it for you. Keeping it for this very moment. My invention. Look, this is a historic moment. Here we go. No, oh, something's wrong. Uh, wait, wait, just a dangling minute. Oh, 
Mr. Stupid in person. <laughs> I forgot this. Here we go. Look. Chico, come here quick. Turn this hand. See, huh? What is it, sir? Electricity. Civilization. The sun is a rising in the night. Hawking city. Tonight, you are the first enlightened city in the United States. Sam, this light is not given by the great spirit. No, oh, it's given by my spirit. Which, maybe he could say was given by the great spirit. Sam, what's the point in a man being able to see at night when he can't even see during the day? I'll come back, Prairie Flower, tomorrow. Why do you have to go? I must say goodbye to my more than father. Take this. This way you'll know that I'll be faithful. <laughs> I give my most precious thing to you. The cord that held me bound to my mother until my hour of birth was here. This is my whole life put in your hands. his long knife on, and all his men thundersticks. I've got to warn Winnetou. There we go! Tejunko! Stay here, little flower. Wait for me. Don't go back to the village. About little cub. He's fast asleep in the arms of his flower right now. What do you know about the Colonel? Stevens. Uh, only uh, what people say. <laughs> Real bastard. You know, he ain't no more a Colonel than I am. Uh, he's a Confederate sergeant. He was cashiered for executing civilians. Then we must hurry. Come on. God, I hate horses. Ah! Yeah. Winnetou, maybe it's better if you go on ahead without me. We're not too far from Ambrose's place, and I'd like to talk something over with old Carstairs. Hey, look. Tashunko. Something's happening. Don't look like something good. Ah! 
Winona! Topsona! She was supposed to wait for me here. On your horse. <laughs> 